Welcome, this is the homework for the IM1 Honors class for the date of August 13, 2018. All right. uh, here we ask you to find the product and the quotient run to their nearest hundreds. Again, um, I'm never going to ask you to ever do this by hand. Uh, you have to understand how to use the calculator to compute this. Right. So I have a calculator here in Desmos that is up. Okay. You're going to enter it the way you see it. Okay, so the first one is this decimal times this decimal, right? So 6.5 times, let me clear that, right? Times, so where's the parentheses? 0 0.13. 13, close the parentheses. That should be 0 0.845. There you go. Second one. Negative 78 divided by parentheses negative 1.3. Remember, this is negative over a negative. That should be a positive. Equals to 60. Perfect. Next, right here, you have enter it the way you see it. 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4. Good. That is going to be multiplied, so multiplication symbol, parentheses, 1 over 5, 1 divided by 5, good, is equal to 0 0.15, perfect, okay, um, right, if you multiply this across, it should be uh, 3 over 6, 3 over 20, right, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 5 on the, on the bottom is 20, next, 1 over 3, Right, they ask you to simplify before multiplying. You could pull out a three, okay, if you want. So pull out a three on the bottom here becomes a one. Pull out a three on the top, it becomes a two up here. So you you can type that in. One divided by three. I'm just going to enter it the way I see it right here. Times six divided by five. Right, zero point four. Okay, zero point four is also to divide by 5, right? 0 0.4. Good. Name the reciprocal for each number. 1 over 22. Flip it, because that's what reciprocal means. Becomes 22 over 1. Next, find each quotient. Okay. Enter it the same exact way you see it. 4 divided by parentheses negative 2 divided by 7, right? Equals to negative 14. Negative 14. Good. Next. 42, enter it the same exact way you see it, okay? So 3 divided by 25 divided by parentheses 2 divided by 15, 0 0.9, all right? So I also did work here on my paint, right? I pull out the 3, right? 3 over 25 times 15 over 2. I pull out the 5, the greatest common factor of 5, 5 and 5 so it becomes 5 on the bottom here and 3 on top 3 times 3 is 9 5 times 2 is 10 right which is 0 0.9 right there you go those are the homework solutions